So by default, Excel displays the grid lines here. And when you go to print it, doesn't always display the grid lines, depends on whether you've got that feature switched on or off. Sometimes you don't want grid lines just because of the way you want to display your data. Perhaps you've got lots of graphics on there. And if I go to sheet one, you can see that in some versions of Excel, you can draw in here, you can write, you can handwrite in here if you like. So you can have it like that. And you can see I've got no grid lines and I've got no row and column headings. And I'll show you how to do that here. And by the way, I'll show you how to do this on a Mac as well in just a moment. It could also be if I go to sheet number two, I've got some buttons here which could have macros so I can click on them. And this could be like a control panel switchboard that you use for putting all sorts of buttons here and commands. So how do you get rid of it? And you'll see here as well, the row and column headings are missing. Let's go to sheet number three. And what you need to do is go to page layout. This is one way of doing it. And over here in the sheet option section on this tab, you'll see it's got grid lines. And if I click on that, the grid lines disappear. To put them back, I just simply click on it again. So view is whilst you're looking at it like this. You could also, you'll see here, it's got print, it's not ticked, which means that when you print, you don't see the grid lines. Same for the column headings. I said I was gonna do this, that's column and row headings. If I click on that, it gets rid of them. If I click on it again, it puts it back. So the thing I want to show you is where is this on a Mac? So here I am in a Mac, and if I go to my layout tab just here, I click on it and you can see it's got a view section just here and I can turn off my grid lines and I can turn off my headings here too. You'll see it's split slightly differently. There's view and then there's print. So grid lines and headings for print are over here. For view, they are over here. Now there is another place you can find them as well. I'll quickly show you here on the Mac and then show you as well where it is on the Windows version. So if you go into Excel, menu and you choose preferences. If you click on view, you'll see here that it has got grid lines there. And also I can turn row and column headings there. If I click OK, they're now gone and I can switch them back over here. So quickly back to the PC. Where is it on here? Well, if I go into file and I choose options, if I click on advanced and I scroll down, you will see it comes under here, display options for this worksheet. So bear in mind, this is worksheets based. So there it is, show row and column headings. I can untick that and down here are grid lines. And I can turn that off. So just so you know, when you're in here, the other thing you can do is you can change the grid line color. You can change it to any of these on this palette. But let's just show grid lines, turn that off, click OK, and they're gone. So that's how you can make the grid lines disappear and also the row and column headings on both Windows and Mac.